a historic landmark is about to make an incredible transformation. I'll have more coming up. On a typically gray day for this time of year, the crowd awaits a sign that the summer of color is here. It's a big change and a big deal. But to brothers Ed and Bernie Massey, the founders of Portraits of Hope, changing lives and transforming landmarks is all in a day's work. We basically have developed all sorts of different painting methods so children who have medical and physical challenges can participate in these larger efforts. Tools used to paint the lifeguard towers on Santa Monica beaches and 30 miles of coastline from Zuma to Hermosa Beach. Now, in its 15th year, Project of Hope has broadened its reach to schools, teaching students about social issues, this is going to be the more most important, teamwork. We volunteered uh, to paint all the railings a few weeks ago, our, uh, uh, us together as a team, and we brought our children, and I just think it's the most exciting art exhibition that's happened in as long as I can remember. But this isn't their first outrageous project. With paint and thousands of volunteers, they've transformed planes, tugboats, and even the blimp. So it was only fitting that the California coastline be next. We went on a family walk, and I would have never bothered looking at the towers that I grew up looking at, but then walking tower by tower, seeing the gray after gray, it was a day just like today, where they blended in right to the ocean, as Felix just mentioned. It's like, there it is. It's a, it's a beautiful canvas that has been untouched. Let's add some color to it and make it cheerful. The only color you don't see on these towers is red because that's the color of our lifeguard trunks and we want to make sure that you can see the lifeguard different from the rest of the tower. When word spread that the lifeguard towers were going to be painted, there was mixed reaction, but here's the thing. The towers actually weren't painted. The artwork was done on removable panels all of which will be reused and recycled. The art panels, once they're taken down, are going to go to Haiti, and they're going to act as makeshift homes for some of the people that are, you know, out in the elements. It's just really inspiring. I mean, like, to see that kind of beauty come from something that you, uh, you would think is, like, a sad situation in a lot of ways, it just shows there's, that, that, like, that there's, like, a lot of good and a lot of hope in the world. It's good. The invigorated and bedazzled towers will be around all summer, but come late September, the panels, in all their splendor, will be no more. But not the memory. That will live on in the minds of the estimated 45 million visitors who come to Los Angeles County beaches every year. In Santa Monica, I'm Heather Armstrong.